Silent Christian Mario, and you're here for another edition of New World Order Exposed. I know right off the bat the title of this video might be shocking and a lot of you might have clicked just to see what crazy information might be on the other side, but stick with me. By the end of this video you're going to see that this is actually real. President Bush is related to a real life vampire. So what we're going to be looking at in today's video is the Illuminati vampire connection of the Bush family. So what I'm showing you on your screen here, this was shown actually by mainstream media. Mainstream media went around and actually showed people that President Bush is related to all these people. Now look how weird this is, okay? And try and wrap your head around the impossibility of this if there wasn't really a conspiracy going on. How do all these powerful influences in our society, these leaders, these role models, all get to positions of power, but yet they're all part of the same bloodline. They're all part of the same family. What is really going on? I mean, Brad Pitt, Barack Obama, Dick Cheney, uh, Abraham Lincoln, the Bush, uh, Kerry, Hugh Hefner, Madonna, Celine Dion, Marilyn Monroe, and there's more, Brad Pitt. H how are they all related, okay? I mean, maybe one or two or three of them in entertainment and government, but you're talking about a very high percentage. How is this happening? Well, you need to study the Illuminati and those that are truly in power. I've been saying for a long time that the people that are in power are satanic cults known as the Illuminati. They are part of mystery schools who have adopted a Luciferian philosophy and uh, teaching. They believe that Lucifer is light. And they are part of these families, these powerful elite families that are controlling the world. That's the only way you can, you can actually make sense of this all. To actually understand this even deeper, I'm going to leave in the description section a link to a video I did called The 13 Bloodlines of the Illuminati. In this uh, video, you can actually find in the description section a uh, link to actually get a copy of the book by Fritz Springmeier. It'll give you an understanding as to wh why this is happening. How does this even happen? It's not just coincidence. I mean, it's funny because the mainstream media went around asking people about this, and when the people were being asked, they're like, hmm, I don't know, that is really weird. And no one figured it out. Because no one's educated on the reality that our world is owned and operated by these evil families, these bloodlines, these satanic Illuminati bloodlines. So what I wanted to point out in today's video to just show you the Illuminati connection to the bushes and vampirism is over here, if you look in the bottom left corner, here is their relative, Vlad the Impaler, aka Dracula. <laughs> the real life Dracula was actually related to the bushes. A man who was known for impaling people, Vlad the Impaler, and drinking their blood and eating their flesh. A cannibal, blood-drinking, psychopathic person. That's who the <laughs> their grand-grand-grandson or cousin-cousin, I don't know how, the, how you would relate it, but it's in there. He's in the bloodline, and uh, I'm telling you, uh, the <laughs> they act alike. I'm telling you, there's no difference here. This is all a satanic family who is involved in occult Satanism at the highest, highest, highest level. So what I want to point out as well is, well, Vlad the Impaler. Now, oftentimes we get mixed up because what happens is we see vampires on TV and we, you know, because it's so fantasy and the way the media portrays it, we don't see it as reality, but it's an ultimate reality. Uh, Vlad the Impaler was a real individual who lived. No, he doesn't live forever. And you got to get rid of what everything Hollywood fed you about vampires. That's not really what vampirism truly is. We're talking about real life vampires. They don't. Uh, you know, garlic isn't going to hurt them, um, <laughs> some ridiculous uh, things like that. Uh, these are real people, but they're occultists, and they're evil, evil, evil spirited to the absolute core. And we can't be deceived by the modern media, which wants you to think the vampires are some mythical well, <laughs> creature that really doesn't exist, because that's part of the strategy, is to make vampirism out to be something so... Uh, you know, it's a fantasy. It's just, um, no, it's not real. No, it's actually real. Vampires are real. They're sick, twisted Illuminati people who drink blood. Vlad, Vlad the Impaler, as I'm showing you here, it may be a little bit hard to see, but this is actually an old depiction of him. Look at all these bodies on picks here being impaled, and he was sitting there, you know, with his plate and his fork and just eating away, you know, give me some body parts, eat it all up there, psychopathic Bush family member, Illuminati member, uh, just eating the people 
satanic and evil to the core. Now, why is it that the Illuminati would want to drink blood? Why is that something that they're practicing behind closed doors? And why are they practicing this form of vampirism? Well, we can go to the Word of God and we can see why they're doing this. In Leviticus 17, 14, uh, the Bible actually tells us that there is life in all of the flesh and the blood. So therefore, by drinking the blood of an animal or a person, you are in essence, according to the Bible, taking in the life of that person. And God actually tells us not to do that. As you can see here, he tells us not to drink the blood of animals and things like that. So definitely, he's definitely not going to want you to drink human blood. But these psychopathic vampires actually believe that this gives them power, and they claim it does. If you uh, study vampire cults, not like real cults, these are these are real. And like I said, look past the, the, the Hollywood uh, illusion of it. This is real. These people actually drink blood, and they get a high from it, and they crave more blood. Uh, so it's a really, really twisted thing that's going on. I'm not going to go too much into this yet. I'm actually going to be doing a whole video on the, the vampire Illuminati cult and how they're promoting it in Hollywood and all that with Twilight and all that. But I just wanted to show specifically in this video here today, another proof that the Bush family, by the way, Bush was part of a secret society at uh, Yale University, the Skull and Bones, and ultimately he was practicing Satanism back then. So it's, this is just more proof that uh, John Kerry, Bone and Skull member, and uh, President Bush, Bone and Skull member, Barack Obama, Ball and Scones, and whatever, the, who knows what they're in, Freemason, Cheney, they're all related to a bloodthirsty vampire, aka Dracula. Pretty crazy, but this is the world we live in, because it's owned and operated by the Illuminati bloodlines until Jesus Christ comes back on that last day to take care and wipe these guys out of the face of the earth. The, the lake of fire has been prepared for the devil, and these people have been deceived by the devil and will find themselves in that lake of fire un unless they repent. This is the Vigilant Christian saying God bless each and every one of you, and as always, stay vigilant.